All right, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we are going to install a short shifter in my 2011 Jetta TDI. And I got this kit from Diesel Geeks. Let's have a look at it in the box. The machining on the kit is extremely nice. It's like really well done. All the hardware, everything. But first, let's start getting involved in the job. What we gotta do, we gotta remove the air box. A couple things we want to do. There's a rubber hose right here. You want to pull that up. And then this clip here for the mass airflow sensor, pull that off. The next step is to remove the air box. There's a five millimeter Allen key right there. So we want to spin that out. And that's the only one that holds it down. So we get that loosened off. The next step is to remove this. There's one tab here, one tab here, one tab here, then this top cover will come off. Gonna lift up there, lift up there, that came off. Now we need to free this air box. There's little tabs right there you gotta push in and push it out. Same with right here. And there might be a third one too. But I'll pop back in, dumb slut and whore. There. That was a tab right down in there. Ah, there you go, you fucking cocksucker. I'm gonna pull up on the box. Now we got this cocksucker opened up and it's exposed. One thing too, when you pull it off, um, that's just a tube, it's a drain. Don't worry too much about that. And uh, there's actually a secondary little tube right there we're gonna have to connect again. So remember when you're putting the air box in, that, that little cocksucker's gonna have to go back in. So we'll see how much of a fight that's gonna be. Now that we've got the shifter exposed, we gotta remove this nut and we're not gonna use it again. So let's yank that off right now. The 13 mil socket. I'll put it back in neutral. suckers back you need to get this little white clip off the bottom and it's got to lift up both little tabs on the bottom and that clip will just pull out now according to the instructions I got to point this to the white plastic piece which it is and then I'm supposed to point it away from the engine and it'll come out apparently apparently get the shifter I was fucking around with this for a while but you actually got to move it out of gear so it's a little bit wider then when he says you got it in a triangle you just get it out just like that now that part's out move this piece and it might be a little stubborn cunt I'm not sure yet I'm gonna grab it and keep pulling it up till she comes When you remove this piece here, you won't be able to get the cable off till this is off of the uh, shifter spindle. So now let's grab the box. We're going to grab this one and stick so her this on. This can only go on one way. There's a line right there. And if you look closely at the splines, there's going to be a flat spot because there's a flat spot here. Now, what we got to do, insert this into the cable end first and then put it on. Put the cable end in first. Finding out where this thing's gonna line up. And then kind of wiggle it down. Now that we got that on, 
we're going to take our new nut, put it on, and we're going to tighten it down. Now you don't want to go full out retard tight on this because you will bust it off. You will end up breaking that off, and if you break that off, you're going to be fucked. We're gonna insert this piece next. I added some more grease because I don't like to fuck around. We gotta insert these bushings, but we gotta remove this little clip first. And you kind of lift it up and then slide it back. We're gonna put that aside, pull this bushing out. This one has to stay on, but we could probably get away with putting that one in right now. Get the fuck in there, you dirty cocksucker. Push down here now, and we slide that in. That's got to go on this piece right here, so let's see what we can do. This is where... Oh, you fucking cocksucker. This is where my hand's going to get in the way. Okay. Got her in. having issues with that bushing. Oh, that's right, that's right. Who's your fucking daddy? Hey, who's your fucking daddy? That's right. Got that right the fuck in. Now we can put this little clip back on. How well you're gonna be able to see with the camera and trying to do the best I can with a pointed down now However, when you put this piece in since you can't really see it You kind of have to um, Tilt it over to the side here start getting it in when that little plastic bushing starts getting in Push it in until this starts becoming straight. This actually slides on that post So once you get it in far enough, you know, you're gonna get it in just line this up with that once it's in, pop that little tab back in, you're motherfucking done. Like I said, I don't know how it's gonna show up in that because I gotta point it down, but you know, I don't know what I'm gonna see till afterwards. Stick this piece in. When this goes in, this has to be facing up. So you gotta insert this in the cable end first. It's got blue Loctite in those threads already, and then we're gonna tighten her up. Not gonna be able to see, I doubt it, but. Underneath here, I put a 13 mil socket, and that prevents the shifter from coming back when I tighten it. Make sure it's good and snug. And I'm gonna lift this up. And I'm gonna pull that socket out. Set the shifter, and you can see right there, there's that little L shaped bracket there. We need to push down on this and then push that bracket in to get it to lock. All right, I'm kind of pushing down. There we go. Once you get in, well, I just fucking popped it out. Now it's locked in. Needed to be at about the 10 o'clock position. That is locked. We need to pin the shifter in the car. So we need to use like a pry tool to pry this up. See right there, we need to go through here. It's a little bit of a struggle to get that cocksucker in, but you can see the pin that comes with the kit goes through the base of the shifter and into the hole into the white plastic base down. So, what we're going to do first off is that we need to preload the cable. So, you need to try to push it out towards the firewall as far as you can get it to go 
that'll help with the adjustment. You don't have to worry so much about the adjustment with this one here, but this one here, you need to push it out. So what we did was just tighten up a couple of them because we want to make sure it goes into gear properly before we tighten them all up. So I tightened up two on this side, two on this side. Got to make sure we pop out that lock now. Before we continue. So just pulled the pin out, now I'm going to cycle through the gears. First second feels good. Well, it looks like everything is connected. Now we're ready to stick everything back together and take it out for a rip, see what happens. Well, it's the moment of okay, truth. Just got back, we're taking it out for a test drive. I'm pretty fucking impressed. It's a little different driving at first because the shifts are so short, but I'm glad I got done what I did because it's kind of hard to see in the camera, but those clouds are dark and I drove a few miles down the road and it's fucking raining. Now, if I would have been outside working on the car when it was fucking raining, I would have been mad. It's actually kind of surprising to hear thunder in September too. All right, it's motherfucking beer time now. Got some chill coot beer from the Yukon. I can end my video there of installing the short shifter kit for your six speed that you'll find your TDI Jetta, Golf, any of that kind of bullshit. Install is actually pretty simple. There's a few things that are kind of awkward, frustrating, especially, especially after in Canada, after going from cold winters, hot summers, is that the plastic starts to get a little bit brittle, so you gotta be a little extra careful for that because they're not as pliable as they were when they were new. So you gotta take extra caution on that. Otherwise, the install should take an hour hour and a bit. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.